Hello, my name is Mr Edwards and I'm the Deputy Head Teacher of Framingham L High School. And in this short video, I just want to talk about what my responsibilities are at the school. So I lead on three main areas in the school. They are behaviour, safeguarding and attendance. I'm just going to talk a little bit about those. So first and foremost, behaviour. Behaviour in our school um, is, is very good and we have a behaviour policy which is followed. And one thing I want to talk about first is our reward system that is part of our behaviour policy. So when students um, receive a house point, and that might be for good work, good homework, being good FRAM citizens, or going beyond, uh, above, beyond expectations, students receive a house point. Parents and carers are notified of that house point uh, through an email, and the house point is then added to the student's behaviour log. Each term we have a celebration assembly where students can pick up certificates for uh, obtaining a certain amount of house points. We also each term have the opportunity for students to use those house points um, for, for gifts such as water bottles, pencils, pens which have the FRAM name and FRAM logo on. This is something which we introduced uh, this academic year and has been um, a real success with our students. So we're really, really proud and pleased that we can continue this for next academic year. We also have, um, as part of our, our celebration assemblies, those students who have received um, the top house points in their year group will also receive uh, vouchers for, for local bookshops or, or Amazon. And, and again, they're part of the celebration assemblies. We also have a very clear behaviour policy in regards to um, students who might not be meeting our expectations. And if that is the case, you'll be notified, um, parents carers will be notified by the teacher via an email notification and if we don't see an improvement then there could well be um, meetings, supportive meetings with form tutors, directors of learning or, or, or myself but it's a very much working together um, policy that we try and use at the school and that moves very uh, nicely on to attendance. As we know, the last two years, attendance at school has, has been quite challenging because we've had Scott's uh, partial school closures. Hopefully that is something um, that we will never have to experience again. As a school, we have a target of 96%. So that's what we look for the students by the end of the academic year to have attended the school. However, we know that is quite a challenge and students, just like adults, can be unwell. If, student, if a student is unable to come into school, we ask parents and carers just to call reception first thing in the morning or send an email just to make them aware of who the child is, why they won't be attending school and hopefully when they will be back in. If we start to pick up patterns or we start to have concerns about individuals not attending school, then we will have, um, we will have supportive attendance meetings because we know attendance is is a, a massive priority and we want all our students to be attending as much as possible not just from the education point of view but also from the social side as well um, school is really important to develop those those social skills as well as those academic skills throughout your time at Framingham High School but if we do have meetings it's very much of a joined up approach so there might be your form it might be a form tutor director of learning um, one of our pastoral support workers or myself having those meetings to try and unpick um, what we need to do to try and um, to try and increase those attendance levels the last thing just to talk about is safeguarding now safeguarding is everywhere and safeguarding will have taken place when um, your, your, your child was at uh, nursery, preschool from the ages of two, three years of age. And it's something that continues during primary and secondary. I'm one of a number of safeguarding leads in the school. And what our job is, is if we receive information about a safeguarding concern about a child or a family, we make the, uh, right, try and make the right decisions on actually what we need to do with that information. We are very simply trying to ensure your children are and families are as safe as possible when your children are in school, but also they're as safe as possible when outside of school as well. And it also leads nicely on to some of the things that we do in school. So we have different external agencies coming in. It might be to do some one-to-one -one work, it might be to do some group work, or it might be to deliver an assembly, um, working, with those, um, working with those key students. We also work very closely with the local police, um, and we've also had parent evenings as well, where perhaps we've been discussing any, any issues that might be in the local community. So for parents and carers, for you to be fully aware of um, what you need to, need to look out for. 
I know that was quite a whistle-stop tour of, of some of the things that I cover in school, but I think it's also important that it's a journey that you will not make on your own. It's a journey that we will make, we will work together with you and making sure it's as smooth as possible. And I'm really looking forward to seeing our, our students joining us in July for the transition days, and then obviously in September when they get to start um, Framingham L High School from, September, uh, from year seven all the way through to year 11. Thank you.